summit of uh, Tres Cruces, another 6,700 meter summit, one of the top 10 in South America as well. The neighboring summit is also really high over there. What a day to be up here. What a, um, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. This area is famous for big winds. And I mean, staying up here without winds is just, uh, wow. Yeah, this, this mountain is really special for me because last year, my friend um, Mali Mastambabu, an Indian mountaineer and climber who I climbed with together, he, he got stuck here in some really bad conditions, really bad weather, and he died on this mountain. This area is like this, it's, um, it, the weather can shift really fast. Uh, even if you know, predict the weather by uh, watching weather forecast, it's still never 100% sure. So you have to be on your feet, you have to be ready. And um, yeah, stuff like this can happen up here. The Mali got stuck up here and he died. He was a, was a friend of mine. We climbed uh, uh, Ojos de Salado over there together, the highest volcano in the world. It was a historic ascent. It was the first Indian ascent of the world's highest volcano. And uh, yeah, now he's gone. He was an inspiration for, for me and for many others, especially in India, I think. He was a pioneer in um, Indian mountaineering. And uh, yeah, he inspired me to climb the 10 highest mountains in South America because that was his project. That was what he was doing. And uh, that is what I'm doing right now also. So uh, when I completed, for sure I'll honor Mali as well. We have a we have a friend in common in Fiambala who's called Johnson Reynoso, who's also a climber and he knows everybody. And he wrote he wrote a letter to Mali, which I'm gonna leave up here on the summit in a metal box, so it's gonna stay here as a memory. Yeah. Yeah, you can say Mali was living his dream. Yeah, he was climbing. It's better to pass away that way than uh, than uh, in some other meaningless way. He he lived with a purpose. Yeah, and. Uh, Yeah, he accomplished a lot of things in the mountain. 